bit of story that needs to be redone here, Someone but I'm actually coming. okay with that. I feel like... Lady Unaleska. Welcome to Zanarkand. I don't know, I feel like I there was more commenting I could do on this scene, you but I don't, uh... Your pilgrimage. I will now bestow you with that which you seek. This is actually the point the in the game where they're just summoning. revealing everything. Not everything. Will be yours. There's at least one big thing that has yet to be revealed. No. Choose. You must choose the one whom I will change. To become the faith of the final summoning. <sighs> There must be a bond between Chosen and Summoner, for that is what the final summoning embodies. You know, it doesn't bother the me that Donna has a kind of a skimpy wife, outfit. Mother and child. But Unaleska's outfit friends. is so skimpy, it's silly. If that bond is strong enough, its light will conquer sin. I wouldn't fight in a bikini. A thousand years ago, I chose my husband Zeon as my faith. It's not even like Our she has really a Leia bikini. Like the upper the part of the bikini Aeon. is Leia style. There the lower part of her bikini fear. is not. You will soon be freed of worry and pain. For once you call forth the final Aeon, your life will end. Death is the ultimate and final liberation. Your father, Braska, chose this path. Yevon's yeah, a death cult. It's so freaky, I love it. I absolutely love it. Too late. Let us turn back. If I turn back, who will defeat Sin? Nobody. Would you have some other summoner and his guardians go through this? But, my lord, there must be another way. This is the only way we got now. Fine. Make me the faith. I've been doing some thinking. My dream is back in the other Xanarkand. I wanted to make that runt into a star Blitz player. Show him the view from the top, you know. But now I know there's no way fall. home for me. I'm never gonna see him again. My dream's never gonna come true. So make me the faith. I'll fight Sin with you, Braska. Then maybe my life will have meaning, you know. Don't do this, Jekt. Faith are typically if embedded live, in stone. There may be another way. Do they do we'll this every time a final Aeon is made? Is there just Believe like a me. pile of final Aeon rocks? Through. Besides, I, I ain't getting any younger, so I might as well make myself useful. Jekt? He almost looks like a pirate what? with that You're headband. Not try to stop I love it. Me too. Sorry. I mean, thank you. Braska still has to fight Sin, Oren. He's a shorty. Guard him well. Realize Make that. sure he gets there. Uh, well, let's go. Lord Braska, checked. What do you want now? Sin always comes back. It comes back after the calm, every time. The cycle will continue, and your deaths will mean nothing. But there's always idealism. a chance it won't come back this time. It's worth trying. I understand what you're saying, Oren. I'll find a way to break the cycle. You... have a plan? Checked? Trust me. I'll think of something. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way that he and Titus is the same. We'll make it work! We can make it happen. I think they did a really good job with this game of making Titus and Jekt similar in the sort of ways that parents and children usually are sim similar. Um, general overall personality traits and stuff that, uh... uh and... What? The cycle went on. Personality we'll traits that are subtle. But how? Ways what, of thinking. You got a plan now. If one of us has to. Lulu turns Me into. Too, Yuna. I bet that she would make an awesome anything, badass you know? faith. You'd bring the calm, and then what? 
that or won't break the cycle. make for an awesome badass Aeon, I mean. Listen, you want to defeat Sin and keep Yuna alive. You don't want Sin to come back, yeah? That is just not gonna happen, <laughs> I, brother, you know? I just imagined Waka's summon being a, like a living blitz ball, bouncing all, all over everything. But I want everything! Now you're being childish. I give up. So what would an adult do then? They know they can just throw away a summoner. Then they can do whatever they like. You're right. I might not even have a chance. But no way am I gonna just stand here and let Yuna go. And what Oren said about there being a way, I think it's true. You'll think of something? Yes. I'll go ask Yuna Leska. She's got to know something. You really think she'll help you? I don't know, but I have to try. This is my story. It'll go the way I want it, or I'll end it here. Wait. You say it's your story, but it's my story too, you know? It would be so easy to let my fate just carry me away. Following the same path my hmm. whole life through. This my story, it's my this is my story stuff comes up more at the beginning of the game and well, now in Xanarkand than it does do. any time in between that. With no regrets. Alright. I actually can I go back and save again real quick? I like that scene, but in case she kills me again, I just don't want to have to sit through it again. <laughs> uh, I think this is the right one. Yes. Cool. I'm still not... I still don't have quite the right equipment for this. I'm going in with higher stats and uh, the appropriate magic for kicking her butt, but I don't... I, I just, I don't have any confuse, confusion armor, I don't have any, I'm gonna look at your comments real quick before I go in there. Confuse armor, I have zombie proof, but I don't have death proof, because I haven't done any of the side questing in the calm lands. So, oh hi Adrian and Kalo, Unaleska is not dead, praise the almighty save point. Yeah, I'm about to go in and fight her again, the first time I fought her, she, uh, I, I was doing pretty well. But I had Orin up and zombied, the other two died, and I was about to I was about to use a Mega Phoenix to the it would have raised the other two and killed Orin, but I would have had two party members up instead of one. And then she confused him. And a confused Orin just kills party members, and since he was the only party member, it was just like as soon as he got confused, I'm like, Oh, I'm dead. That's that's the end of it. That's just have you chosen the one to become your fate? All there is to it. Who will it be? Might I? I do like her first. Princess Leia bikini top. Will Sin come back even it's a really I neat design. It's just it. the part of the Sin reason the Leia eternal. outfit works is because Every the bottom Aeon had the cloth going down all the way to the floor. Like there's more to it and than just metal bikini, if only a little bit. She doesn't have so that. It's just like metal bikini and then thong. Sin is an inevitable part of Spira's destiny. Like, and look how low it that is song is. Ending. Shaking my never head here. Ending? I like her. I like her uh, but, armlets, though. But if we atone for our crimes, Sin will stop coming back. Yeah. Someday it'll be gone. Yeah. Will humanity ever attain such purity? <sighs> this, this cannot be. The teaching state that we I really like this with, with Lulu atonement. having like a walk a moment it's been our only being hope like what about years? my face hope is she has a right to be comforting. that way she really does it allows us to accept fate however tragic it might be no! Super tragic. where is the sense in all this Braska believed in Yevon's teachings and died for them Jack believed in Braska and gave his life for him. You know, if Jack died die ten years ago, because they had hope. If Jack died ten years ago, then 
in that interim, I wonder how much of that time Orin has spent with Titus. So how much of Titus's upbringing, so to speak, has been influenced by Orin? Fun question times. Yevon's teachings and the final summoning give the people of Spira Good hope. Good cinematography here. Without hope, they would drop. Go for a movie, the pacing sorrow. would be too slow. I can't remember what I was reading recently, but it was. Now choose. Was it who will be reading, or was it a YouTube video I watched? Who I don't remember offhand. But whoever it was was talking about. Oh, it was. It was. It was. It was. Let's play videos off of the extra play channel, the extra credits side channel. Where they just talk game dev talk over, um, no one. over I would have playing games. And I one of the, the things that Dan Prime was talking about was the number of words per minute in no like a more. film versus a video game. Is a false and, and, and that as a, as a vehicle for how no. we do storytelling in games versus hope. film. Your father sacrificed himself to Why did I get on this track? I don't even remember what I was talking about. So they would forget sorrow. Wrong. Meh. My father. My father wanted to make Spiro's sorrow go away. Oh, not I remember why. They were talking about just like the pacing. It's sorrow it's not just the words per minute in a game versus a film, but also video game cutscenes are My not father. as uh, they they him. often have a slower pace so I, than I do. I will live uh, the life. scenes in a movie or a TV show or whatever, we just, they were saying that we just haven't perfected how to do that kind of pacing in game yet, and I thought that was a really be, neat observation. Someday, I actually, I, I, I really it. just recommend that channel altogether. False hope. Extra play. It's a side channel of extra credits. You game developers talking hope. about games while playing them. Well, just, that whole channel is for the you before you can Extra credits is for the win. I love those guys. It is better for you to die in hope oh. than to live in despair. I like the way that mandala looks. It's good Let stuff. Let me be your liberator. Freedom! Now, Her hair just suddenly it. springs now into porcupine mode. To die and be Hedgehog Alaska. Or live and fight your She's the right sorrow. color to be Sonic. Now is the time to Ooh, shape your Hedgehog stories. Hedgehog Sonic. Your fate is in your hands. You not need Kimari. Kimari I'll look at you guys' comments when I get into the battle, by the way. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm talking over everything anyway, but... I can't good. believe we're gonna fight Lady Unaleska. Give me a break. One thing I'm noticing here, watching these scenes the second time, run. is that Riku's role ah. really... I'd never forgive myself. Uh... No way. She's just... She's Not if I a much more now. minor part later in the game. Even in... Death, yeah? Uh, my thoughts exactly. Yuna! This is our story. Now let's see this thing through together. Cause he loves you. Alright. I'm gonna look at you guys' comments real quick before I go into this. Do do. <laughs> Save point probably won't help. Stop saying that! It probably won't though. We'll see! But, uh, yeah. Alright. Time to... Haste-ga myself. Haste all the things that are not Unaleska. Alright, do I want to use Reflect? I don't remember. <laughs> oh god. What am I doing? Is there anything... Ah, uh, holy! Just... Just kick her butt. Boner. I do wish I had the the damage limit break, but I don't. Oh, 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 that hurts. I forgot you to do that. But that's okay. I have things that can fix that problem. Ha! I laugh at your puny damage. Oh, he's got counterattack. I forgot I put counterattack weapons on Oren and Waka. This is great. Um. Oh, well, in that case. Bamf. Oh. Oh, I love that. Three turns and she's already in phase two. 
Good times. Good times. Oh, this is less good times. That's okay. We want to be zombie going to. The oh, right. Yuna's got anti zombie. That's okay. We're gonna. We're gonna holy her again. Because holy crap. LOL. I love that. That hurt, but that's okay. Do I have anything that's worth using? None of those is really gonna do much. What else we got? Wait, can I? I'm just gonna see what I can steal from her just because. Stamina tablet. That was kind of a waste of space. That's alright. That is totally okay. We'll just holy again. I guess Walk is next turn. He's gonna use an ether on Yuna because she is she is going through the magic points. Wrong one. Item ether. That is right, right? Yeah. That's okay. I think it's the first time in this entire playthrough that I've bothered using ether. Thanks. <laughs> just heal her up. Bring it on. What else we got? Nothing. Alright, attack. Har. He does decent damage. He does really nice damage. Good time. Yeah. She burns us. Wrong one. Holy. Rawr. Takes so so many hit points. They're not hit points. Magic points. I'm okay with that though. So the others are doing enough damage that maybe I don't need to. Phase 3! This is going so much faster. I know I've been talking over these cutscenes and stuff the whole time. I might make this like a bonus episode. I said the next episode is gonna start at the end of this battle. Oh gosh, there goes Yuna. Okay, thanks, bye. Oh, uh, zombie doesn't protect from that? Or was Orin not zombied? Orin must not have been zombied. Well... Cool. Sacrifice instead of for the greater good. I actually really love that. <laughs> That's hilarious. She's zombie proof. He's not zombie proof. He just- oh, I think he's still got his zombie ward thing on. This is not the time I want him to have zombie ward on. It's alright. We'll just grand summon. We'll bring out Bahamut. Hopefully get off two of those things without him dying. His unit's cool like that. And by those things I mean his limit. Room. I absolutely love that Bahamut, this super powerful Aeon, comes from a faith that is a child. Cause it is so, it is so the sort of thing that a kid would dream up. And I, I just, I love it. Mega Flur! He's the only thing I have that breaks that 9,999 damage barrier. So if I can get two of these things off, let's see how much damage one does. Dot, 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 dot. Yeah! Look at that! Oh my god, if he lives to his next one, and I just... Ha. Huh, yes. Please, let him survive so I can get off the second one, and I've basically got this bagged. I don't know what you just did to him, but I don't like it. Oh god, don't let that be the curse thing that makes it so he can't use his, his limit break. I will be so sad. Am I sad? I'm sad. Can't use items, can he? <laughs> I did take down half of its damage, though. That's not too bad. That is not too bad at all. Alright, let's get you out of there then. Whatevs. 
I need to res Waka though. Oh, wait. <laughs> he just ran back in even though he was dead. I love it. Alright, um, hmm. Man, if she pulls out that death thing again, I am so screwed. Alright. We we definitely have to raise him again, because if we don't, he's the only one. Oh, I was going to change Orin's equipment. I was going to take that zombie ward off him so he would get zombied for sure. Well, at least Waka will get zombied. Cool. Alright. Um. Maybe I should do that, though. Right, because yeah, he's wearing zombie ward, so we got. We don't want zombie ward. Echo, silence ward. Berserk ward, god, I hope she can't berserk. You know what? I'm gonna assume she can. I think I'm gonna end up assuming she can berserk and give him that because we, we don't really want him berserking. Also, extra hit points for the win. Cool. Summon a different one. We'll just, we'll just shield ourselves, ourselves with summons for as long as we can and hopefully get a bunch of damage in. I feel so sorry for the summons, because, like, they kind of live just to die in battle. They just do. You get their limit breaks up outside of, or, like, outside of boss battles, and then pull it out, summon the thing, watch the boss beat on them and hope they don't die, and maybe get another attack in. But until then... Yeah. I've always liked the way this summon works in this game. It's just... It's, it's really neat that it just freezes them and then just snap, shatters the, the ice. I know I talked about this when I first got her, but I just... It, look at that. How cool is that? It's like, I'm just gonna freeze you and then shatter the encasement. Booyah. It's just so... I don't know, there's a certain there's a certain badassery about the fact that she's just like, yeah, whatever, snap. Oh, should I just delay this movement? Ooh, that actually not super significant, but why not? We'll do it. I'm just gonna use her until she gets killed. I'm not gonna bother dismissing her. Absorb! How did you absorb more hit points than she has? Oh well. I feel like this is going better, but I don't want to get my hopes up too much. So we'll just attack. Bam. Oh, how many hit points does she have left? Look at that! Look at that! She's like down 75%. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Could I be happier? Perhaps. Am I likely to get happier? No. Okay, so she's dead. Pull out Sparky Sparky Boom Man. I like this tactic. Just let them die in my stead. Not very nice, but it's effective. And I am pro being effective. Especially in this battle. This and Seymour on Gaga's that are definitely the hardest battle in the game. I'm actually, like, the final boss battle is not as hard as this one. Which is sad. But that's okay. You know, there are some really neat graphical effects on these involving warping, like, making it look like the air is being warped. Especially, like, on this one and on the. Uh, Bahamut. I don't know enough about graphics. Did I do it? Did I do it? I did it! Woo! 